welcome to the episode of The Sims 4 uh, Vampires Build by Mode. We are going to take a look at all the new objects that came in. This is the new town. It is called Sleepy Hollow, I believe. Mystery Hollow? Now I am... If you come here to... And then you go here, it is this one. Forgotten Hollow. Um, so... Here is what it looks like when you first visit. There is this one, Count Vladislaus Strahd the Fourth's castle. Here is the Vettori family, an empty lot. The this is the cheapest house she can live in, and here is the other one, um, Garlic Ladder Place. <laughs> um, there's also, which we will, if we're back here with. Our lovely little Sophia. Um, if you go to build by mode, there is actually lot traits. So if you go up here, um, right now it is under registered vampire lair. This lot registers the vampire lair. The league will send various gifts from time to time. This is mail through the mail, no less. Even the immortals use the public mail service. Only available on home residence. And then there is also. Um, on a dark ley line, the dark energy here has impact on all of act nocturnal activities. You can expect babies conceived here to require extra care while teething. Um, and then there's Vampire Nexus. A dark void envelopes this lot in the upside down. Vampires are more likely to visit the area. So let's go ahead. We're just going to... And then... Is that it? I believe that's it. So we're just going to go ahead and give all of these to this lot for Miss Sophia. And then let's take a look at some of the stuff that comes with it. We're going to go ahead and filter by vampires. So there's a bunch of different rooms available. Um, they probably won't fit on this particular lot, but here is a bathroom with the different colors available, which is really pretty, as you can see. Not sure why it uh, um, is up so high, but it's okay. Look at all this, so you can see some of the new stuff that is available. How pretty this is. So let's go ahead and get rid of that room. Then there is this one, Athens, Athens Chambers, which is the um, the coffin, sleeping room. But look at this. This is dark and creepy. I love it. Okay. Bam. Let's take a look at this one. There are some of the new stuff available as well. A tapestries, some cobwebs, look at the vampire llama right there. And then of course the coffin, which you can woohoo in um, and you can sleep in as well. How pretty is that? So let's get ahead and get rid of that one. Then there's this one, just a bed chamber. Just a, if you want a normal bedroom, also comes in the different colors. Let's go ahead and buy the classic vampire purple. Take a look at the beautiful items in this one. This is going to look so pretty with the vintage goth as well. Oh my gosh. I love this. Look how beautiful these objects are. Aww. And then there is this one, Assonance of Darkness, which looks to be a sitting room. Different colors available. Let's go ahead and buy this one. We're going to plop that down there. And here is the organ. A faint couch, is that what they're called? A high back chair, some new shelves, some new pictures. I, is this? I don't know what this is. Oops. Well then. Okay. And then next we have the refined den, 
which looks to be a little study for your vampires, which is quite large. A new va um, is that a new fireplace? It looks like a new fireplace. How pretty is this? I love the style of all the vampire objects. It's just so pretty. I've always been a fan of the Victoria area era, so this is just love it. Okay, next we have a dining room. Comes in these colors. Let's go ahead and get this one. Bam! Okay. And this. I love the candle chandelier, our centerpiece, and all the pictures. And the wallpaper. Beautiful. Beautiful. And last but not least is the Immortal Resting Grounds, which also, as you know, can see, comes in different colors. This is huge. I think, oh my gosh, look how beautiful these wall vines are. <gasps> this is so pretty. Oh my. Ugh, I hate that you can't. Oops. And those are some of those new objects. Let's go to here. Actually, let's go here. Um, and see, here is some new flooring. So this is the townhouse that comes in the, um, let's put the sound so we can see flooring that comes with the, um, the new, one of the new the townhouses that come in the new world. <laughs> I can't talk to it this morning. I literally can't. So I was going to rec um, cover this last night, but Unfortunately, I got had a really weird sleep schedule and was so exhausted when I came home that I was like, nobody's going to know what I'm saying. So I did not. But look at how pretty this floor is. And here's another one. And of course, they all come in the different colors available too. So if you want the different ones, you can. Here is some carpeting. Beautiful carpeting. Some more spider tile. Play with the squares tiles. And of course the dungeon. You have to have dungeon zones, right? When you're when you're vampires, dungeons are a must. So those are the new floors that come with it. Let's take a look at some wallpaper. There is, of course, the different um, styles. There is that with the Floralise on it. Some darker ones. They have more decorations on them. New classic paneling, and of course the dungeonish, dungeonish brick. Uh, this one has corners, I thought, but maybe not. Oh yeah, there they are. See corners, um, and then with little bats on it, and then this one is. All bats. How cute are those? And I think they come in the different colors as well. So if you want, I thought one of these was shiny, but I think I'm wrong on that. Doesn't look shiny. Okay. So those are that. Um, I mean, there of course has to be new doors. There is this one, Mona Lisa Guard, which we're not gonna be able to see out, but, and then there's some arches, a soulful entrance door, and an arched Victorian double door. For windows, there is a neoclassic window, which I don't 
it's sort of like not a single empty wall available in this house. Nope. No walls. That's okay. And then rectangular windows. And those are the different windows available. Um, there is a new fencing. Must apply to a room, huh? Oh. Here is, like, this fencing. That one. That one. And that one. Ah. Uh, of course, the gate to go with it. Oh, look at this gate. That is one heck of a gate. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> of course, it comes in the different colors as well. So if you want to have a really fancy, really rich sim, you definitely can have so. And then there are some pillars. Um, some dead trees because... What is a vampire world without some dead trees? Whoa, that is a ginormous dead tree. Look at that. Okay then, <laughs> and a regular dead tree. Wow, this this tree is huge. Let lack of care has left this tree lacking, and Kirby Peel legend says this once was a. Once upon a time, this tree was beautiful, but now it seems it's not, unless the style is something you fancy. <laughs> um, there has to be a fountain, right? Because I can't imagine. What? No fountains? That makes me sad. Um, no trains. And, of course, no new pool stuff. But there is some new chimney stuff. There is this. And the werewolf, if you want to add some gargoyles, and this one. So those are the build mode. So let's go ahead and look at the buy mode. And look at all the stuff. It's fantastic. Okay, so let's go upstairs to this area. I think we can fit some stuff in here. We're just going to take out this stuff for her. Here is the bed that comes with it. It has wonderful stats, comes in different colors as well. So if you are wanting to change it up a bit, you definitely can. These are all the colors available. So let's go ahead, boop. If you want to be more vampire-esque, you can do that as well. And this also comes in different colors. And then there is a more classic coffin that doesn't look as box in the ground type thing. And this, of course, comes in the different colors as well. Not a huge amount, but it's a coffin. <laughs> And this one, the how, this one is 6,500, 10 energy, stress relief, and all that stuff is way high on this one. If you want to spend the money for your vampire to rest in comfort and luxury, comes in the different colors as well. Of course, here are the chairs. there and then of course they come in the different colors if you're interested in those bunch of different um style palettes so that is good i love the different selection so you're not stuck with all the same type of themes and then this one comes in all the different colors as well so those are those chairs and then there is the chase lounge and a love seat so the chase lounge of course comes in all the different colors 
whatever color you wish to decorate your vampire's house in, this has all the options. And of course, the little stone bench just comes in natural stone colors, so no purple stone or anything like that, but that's okay. Here is a gothic love seat. And this, of course, comes in all the colors. All the colors that you could possibly want. Um, here are some kitchen cabinets. So if you, oh, there's only three colors. That's very limiting <laughs> compared to the others. All the others have like a zillion colors and these only have three. It's okay. Um, coffee table. And a formal table. All the colors available. What is this? A gothic wall shelf. What? So let's zoom here, please. Wow. <sighs> All right, we're just gonna stick that there since it doesn't want to zoom in any higher and you get all the colors that you would possibly want with that one. A sink. Bunch of different sink colors. And then the old fashioned toilet. I think this comes just in the same type of amount of colors. So not a huge amount, but that's okay. Ooh, look at this tub. This is a fancy tub. I like it. Like the claw pattern. I like. Okay. So there is that. What is this? A... This is a bar. It is. So if you want the whole... You want to create a bar, you can. Of course, vampires have to drink too. Well, they don't have to, but. And then here is one of the major pieces that even has its own skill set is the pipe organ. And then this comes in the normal pipe organ colors. I don't, I guess I don't really know normal pipe color, pipe organ colors, but that's my assumption. If you want to make your vampire house look a little ratty tatty, you can. Just throw down. Apparently you can't overlap though. Well, you probably can with move objects on, but you know. Add some cracks in to the wall. Or some tears. There's been a fight going on. Some um, other holes. And then of course, I think there's some cobwebs. Yep hanging ceiling cobwebs and some wall cobwebs you can decorate it as much you want and then there are the tapestries look how pretty this is that is beautiful um the pictures Different designs, different uh, pictures and frames. There's a lot of different stuff in here. There's actually a lot for being a game pack. Look at that. How pretty. And a wall fountain. Um, some, a hanging woof fountain. No, hanging woof uh, wall jumper. A large Vladimir painting or some other vampires, whichever, whoever you'd like to add to your family. And then here is a gilded bat beat mirror, a floor mirror, and then there are some gorgeous curtains. Look at these. Beautiful. 
I can't wait to decorate. And then some pedestals. If you want to put some uh, gargoyles out, like for example, you can have that gargoyle. You can have that gargoyle. Different statues. Your winged llama of death. There is one that already has a pedestal. Or there's some that I guess already have the pedestal. So if you don't want to build your own, you can definitely put. Um, you can put in some slabs. Can you... And then just create your own little graveyard Oops. with all the different headstones available. I don't know what this is. Just some decoration. Some, oh, these are not even, what is going on? Some of these aren't even vampires. <laughs> Where'd all my vampire stuff go? <laughs> wow, that was just just showing you all the stuff that are not vampires apparently. That's okay. Okay, back to vampire things. Um, then there are some rugs. You'd have to put them together, but you can make it as long as you want. A larger floor of one a beautiful fireplace that we saw earlier in the room. Look how pretty that is. And then it comes in the different colors. And then a, for some random reason, a Victorian towel, pink towel. And then of course there is, you can't have a vampire home without ivy and vines because that is what vampires have. If you think of Victorian, you think of rose vines and bramble and all that fun stuff. So you, oh, and then there is the cuckoo kachu. Is that, is that really what's called? Cuckoo kachu, huh? Okay, that reminds me of Finding Nemo. The cuckoo kachu. Okay. And then there is a iron radiator, which is just decoration and an antique book stand. A urn because, you know, vampires have to have an urn. And last but not least, a four floor cabinet. How beautiful is this? So this are all of the objects in the build mode. That is quite a bit, if you ask me. Um, and then this is the world. Here is a park in the middle of it. Um, here are some of the Sims just hanging around. I think Marcus is in the wrong place at the wrong time. I would definitely not want to be in this um, place, but here, I think, is this the other home that you can visit? Yes, this is the other home that you can buy but I will let you experience that on your particular own um, and then yeah so um, this is my build by mood build by mode review or quick overview just so you guys can keep take a look at what to expect when you purchase um, vampires we will be doing a gameplay to um, sort of explore the different vampire stuff. As you can see, here is the panel of what it looks like. Vampires have energy instead of food, or not food, um, instead of having to like use the restroom or stuff like that. This uh, sort of is their power bar. Um, this is their experience bar, so um, you can buy them different powers depending on how many points you have. Um, the basic ones are here at the bottom. Um, so the ones that you start off with are detect personality, bat form, cast hallucinations, eternally welcome, occult student, 
And then you have to have a bad one as well. You have to have a weakness. So you can have withering stomach when she vomits when she eats human food. Um, guilty drinker just drinks without permission. Or she gets guilty when she drinks without permission. And then uncontrollable hissing where she will she would just disgust people by hissing um, uncontrollably. Uncontrollably. Also, these are the top ones at the top. These are the ones that cost the most that eventually you'll get to. Influence emotion, mist form, beyond the herd, tamed thirst, ta wow, tamed thirst, immortal pleasures, and then the bad ones, eternal sadness will occasionally get really, really sad, and undead aura. Um, relationships with other sims start off negative. So those are the negative ones that you can build up to. Um, and then we will do a let's play with the vampires, of course, where we will be able to take control and see what the vampire world is like. See how many people we can turn into vampires in the sims world. So I hope this really helped you figure out if you're really wanting to buy the vampires, please stay tuned to my vampire let's play. And I hope you guys are having a amazing day. Bye.